Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. Today we're going to be talking about why do stadium sound systems not sound good? All right, so we've all been there. You're uh, sitting down at your favorite ballpark, maybe watching your kids, watching some uh, family friends, going to watch the and support the local team. Uh, the announcements come on, you can barely hear them. Or the music kicks on, it either is so piercing that it hurts or you just can't hear it. What gives? So there's a few things that we can look at to kind of figure out uh, what might be wrong with the audio system and what we need to do to kind of uh, correct the problems. So the first thing we need to kind of take a look at uh, and discuss is intelligibility. So uh, when I grew up playing ball and watching games and things like that, uh, lots of stadiums would use paging horns, like the Atlas AP30T here. Uh, still a great horn, it does a great job of projecting uh, vocal range sound long distances. Only problem is, is that most of us these days are used to listening to super high quality sound in our cars, uh, great sound in earbuds, uh, awesome sounding home theater systems, so we don't really want to listen to paging horns anymore. Uh, it, it basically sounds like a bullhorn or a megaphone kind of on purpose. You know, it's more cost effective, uh, you know, $100, $150 for a paging horn that can throw sound a good long way. But unfortunately today, um, that's not really good enough. A lot of us want to hear uh, more full range sound. So that's where we kind of need to look into more full range stadium type speakers. Something like the uh, Pure Resonance Audio S10 I have here and the Yorkville C12 CW. These are kind of more of a full range speaker in that they have a woofer and a high frequency uh, driver. So uh, here you've got a 10 inch woofer, here we have a 12 inch woofer, um, and then also a separate high frequency driver, one inch in this speaker as well as a one inch here. Um, so that's a woofer and a tweeter, uh, separately focusing on bass and um, crispy high high frequencies. Whereas the paging horn just has a small driver loaded back here that does nothing but reproduce vocal frequencies. If we go with a speaker more along these lines, we're going to get a richer, fuller sound. Uh, also, we need to kind of look at um, the type of speaker we're using. You may have a more full range speaker, not just a horn in a facility, but it may not necessarily be something designed to throw sound long distances. If I were to put a kind of a more traditional uh, woofer and tweeter type speaker up, something like I would use on a patio for a restaurant, for instance, it's not going to be able to throw sound very long distances. Um, these more traditional stadium speakers are what's called coaxial, meaning you basically have your speakers share an axis. Uh, the woofer is behind the uh, high frequency driver. And these are also what's also referred to as horn loaded in many cases. That basically means that the, uh, the woofer and the tweeter uh, basically fire through a horn of sorts in order to project the sound good long distances. The idea there is if I'm standing here talking to you, you can hear what I'm saying, but if I cut my hands over my mouth, even though I'm talking at the same volume, it now projects longer distances and you're able to hear it from further away. That's kind of the same basic concept that's incorporated into some of the more uh, horn loaded speakers as they were. Um, that means also that, you know, I may be able to take a normal 15 inch woofer and high frequency driver speaker, you know, like a big box type cabinet from a Yamaha or JBL or Electro Voice and hang that in a school gym and have it fire sound great and sound rich and full. I can't take that out to a ball field and have it do that same thing at 250 feet away because it's not really designed to project sound out like more of these conventional stadium type speakers are. These types of speakers will mean longer throw distance, meaning your sound can be heard further away for things like your visitor side fans on a football stadium, project out to the outfield on a baseball field, and make sure the sound carries good long distances. That also leads us to needing to talk about coverage. Uh, some of these different speakers have different coverage patterns. Um, something like an Atlas paging horn is going to have what's called a conical coverage, like a cone, meaning it's going to fire out like 60 degrees or 90 degrees conically. Uh, this uh, Pure Resonance Audio S10 has uh, a horizontal as well as a vertical coverage. Uh, this is a 90 by 90 speaker. They also have 60 by 40 speakers or even uh, 40 by 20 speakers for um, really tight uh, coverage. Those are generally used to throw either from scoreboards at the end of football fields all the way back to your fans or to fire from a press box across a field all the way to the visitor's side. Uh, so it's important to think through what coverage of speaker do we need for our particular application and where we're going to be putting the speaker. 
Um, along those same lines, sometimes the speakers are technically put in the wrong spot. If I've got a 90 by 90 speaker um, with a 10 inch woofer like the S10, I would kind of classify this as shorter throw to medium throw. If I put this on a scoreboard 600 feet away, it's not going to be able to throw that full distance back to my fans. So this is more designed for being on a light pole, uh, on the roof of a baseball dugout, on a backstop, on a press box, um, that kind of thing for closer, more medium throw sound. Uh, so it's important to kind of keep that in mind while we're looking at some of the different options. Also, um, you may find that your current system doesn't have a large enough amplifier. Um, many years ago, amplifiers were pretty expensive. You know, being able to come up with enough wattage to drive these horns could still at the time, you know, back in the 90s and early 2000s, could still cost $500,000 just to be able to power these types of horns. There's been a lot of amplifier technology that's improved over the years that then allows us, even at very reasonable prices, to provide 200, 300, 400 watts of power so that these types of more musical speakers can throw longer distances while sounding nice and rich and full where you can hear the bass, hear the, uh, the top um, treble frequencies rather than listening to something that sounds more like a bullhorn or megaphone. So if any of these issues kind of describe your space or if you'd like to uh, take a look at some of our pre-packaged stadium sound systems, head on over to our website at www.proacousticsusa.com Give us a call, 888-256-4112. Once again, my name's Nathan. Um, drop us a like down below, shoot us a note, let us know you're watching. Uh, hit subscribe so you get a message every time we post some new content. And let us know if we can help out with anything. And until next time, guys.